Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is uh, day three here on Planet 26. So, yeah, we uh, uh, have gotten over here. Uh, our uh, managed to get to the mobile rover, which is our kind of mobile factory. Uh, it has an assembler, a refinery, and pretty much uh, we are uh, pretty self-sufficient with uh, this machine that was left for us. Uh, we also managed to convert this, uh, the respawn pod, over to a, a rover. And we've gotten, got over here. Uh, this is a uh, moisture evaporator or I producing ice for us. Uh, again, this was put in by the uh, huh I thought there was more ice than that in there uh, somebody must have swiped it anyway this is all put in by the ex exploratory team and then uh, my job is to set up a full-blown base uh, so that uh, we can harvest them uh, minerals and salvage anything that's salvageable on this planet. We can see the uh, rings of Jovan over there. So it's a pretty nice evening here on the planet. Well, today what we need to accomplish is getting a resource node set up. And that is a basically a mining machine. One of the new technologies that's been provided to us by the company. And by the way, I want to give you a little, as, as we get going along here, I've been promising to give you a little bit of the backstory on the uh, uh, Intergalactic Mining and Salvage Company. So I'll uh, be uh, talking about that a little bit here too. But first off, well, let's figure out where we want to put this mining node and I was debating on whether to since we've already got power here that we might be able to run a line off of here uh, and then utilize this power normally we have to set up power for it but if we can uh, just run uh, a line out from here and then uh, be able to stick the resource node onto it, then we should be pretty good. And I think I want to put the resource node down about right here. Let me see something here. Uh, three. Uh, we got iron that is... Yeah, it's about 28 feet down. So I think this is a good spot. Our, where I want to build a base is over in that direction. So we're going to run the pipeline out that way. Uh, so, uh, let me, uh, go grab some, uh, material so we can start building this out. So, the company, the Intergalactic Mining and Salvage Company, started way back in, uh, 20, let's see, 2020. 2223. It was a small earth uh, mining company. And uh, hold on here. Let me grab what I need. Uh, where did I put those? Similar. Yeah, we need. Uh, I need to start with some of these. So let's uh, grab about a couple of hundred of those. And I'm, I know I'm going to be needing more parts. But. So it was uh, just a small mining company on Earth, and uh, all I did was just kind of just basically mine and salvage. Uh, then, they, uh, uh, as uh, the years had gone by, uh, they were uh, pretty much controlling most of the mining operations on Earth and out towards the asteroid belts. Just a second here, so let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and just run this out about like 
Yes. Uh, I wanted to put that iron node right here. Let's bring this out a little bit farther. Okay. So that's got us hooked in over there. Let's uh, get into the graphics here and find out. Here we go, my drills. Now, I need to figure out which one of these I want to put in. Uh, which one takes... That is the bigger of the two. It'll probably produce the most. And... Uh, let's, let me put one more block down over here. Now let's see how this ma measures up. Let's see if we can put this up a little higher. Well, that's too high. I guess that's where it's going to have to be, because it has to be in the ground. And we can we can add a conveyor to it. So let's uh, let's go see if we can get enough parts for this. What did I do? Oh, there we go. I turned off my caps. All right. Let's see if we can uh, see what we got for parts and what's missing. Uh, I couldn't get the motors. So anyway, so they were slowly building out into the Gallic or into the solar system. But if they really wanted to get ahead of the game, they needed to really figure out a way that they could travel from solar system to solar system and from galaxy to galaxy. So they made a tremendous discovery along around the year 2223. Their R&D uh, group uh, invented the jump drive. So that, okay, that uh, took care of most of that. Uh, let's, oh, we just, oh, we need more motors, yep. Uh, let's see if we, see if we got the motors here. Uh, so once they created the jump drive, then they started expanding out. And so, uh, grab this, all oh, components, that should have been everything I needed. And once they started expanding out, uh, they were able to make their first jump to the Alpha Centauri, which was uh, Earth's closest neighbor. Uh, after uh, about 10 years of exploration, the Federal Mining and Salvage combined forces with the THC Mining Investment to form the Galactic Mining and Salvage. Fast forward a couple of centuries and with a lot of different mergers and the Galactic Mining and Salvage changed their name to what we have today, the Intergalactic Mining and Salvage Company. And that was after the completion of their first successful jump to the Draco 2 galaxy. Which brings us to today and we're here on Planet 26 in the Draco Galaxy. So let's get this uh, finished. All right. Uh, all right, let's check the control panel on this. This is probably gonna be noisy as hell. So we're just gonna turn it on to see if it's going to Okay, so that's working away. 
And it is uh, pulling that in. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is turn this off for the moment. Just so that we don't have to listen to it. There we go. Okay. So in this case, we've got enough power being generated by that. Normally, as we set up these nodes in other places, we're going to have to construct something about like this with the uh, windmills and what do we got here? That's eh, brighter. Okay, nothing new. Uh, and set up a with a battery process. This way, we can use smaller batteries. We use the rotor with the uh, small battery. All right. I'll tell you what. That's uh, what I got going. As I finish getting the rest of this structure built out, and we're kind of ready to turn this back on, I will uh, uh, catch back up with you all. So be back with you here in a little bit. All right, so I pretty much, I think I've pretty much got this in to what needs to be done here. Uh, we have the static drill, which we know was uh, mining iron, which is what we wanted. Uh, I got a, uh, a conveyor pipe junction there, and then I put a small cargo container on here just for storage capacity. The next item up is a sorter, and let's get over here. And you can kind of see I've got it going up into the pipeline hub and this pipeline hub now will connect uh, so I'll be building additional hubs so that we can kind of turn this uh, I'll probably build one out over well just beyond uh, beyond here and I'm going to start slowly kind of angling it towards that direction. So we have it right here. So if I come over here a little bit, something about, and put the next one in right here, then I should be able to start kind of going out that way and just kind of slowly bending it around. And that should work. So let's turn this on and let's make sure that it's pumping and that the sorter which I set that to drain all is going to pull everything into the hub all right let's go to here turn that on and then if we go into the pipeline hub we look at the inventory, container, the sorter, and it is filling the hub. Perfect. And then once that fills, then it should start filling into the cargo container. Everything should start filling back towards there. All right. Well, I think we're ready to start kind of moving on. Now, at some point, I am going to have to maybe make some sort of connection that we can drag this along, drag the rover along, or I might just disassemble it and build something new that uh, maybe some sort of flying thing that I can uh, maybe set up a connector on top of this, and that way we can just uh, connect it that way. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up let's see if we can kind of get things moving in the right direction here uh, lights are all on uh, right now we've got everything turned off am I parked parking released Okay. All right, let's get this moved over to here. Uh, 
Yeah, I think this is pretty good right here. All right. Okay. Get the rover pulled over. And... Oh, you know what? I've got to make a couple of adjustments here. So let's do this. Uh, GPS. Let's uh, remove that mobile rover. And what I need to do, well, let's go grab the respawn pod. And I've got to turn up the antennas on the mobile rover. Ah, look at that. Huh. Okay, let's get the respawn pod. Turn that off. Turn around here. Get this over to here. We'll pull a little farther ahead. This will be good, I think. All right, let's uh, park this. All right. And let me get the antenna on, turned on, so we don't lose it. That would kind of suck, wouldn't it? Control panel, let's see. Uh, lights, wheels, assembler. Where is it? Where is it? there is a all right let me see something here all right well I tell you what once I get the beacon turned on, that's what I'm trying to do, is turn the beacon on. I know that it's there. Uh, so we'll get the beacon turned on. And uh, I will get the next start getting the next node built. And I'll catch back up with you here in a little bit. All right. Uh, well, just to give you a bit of an update on what's going on here, I uh, have started building the next hub for the pipeline. Now you'll notice I have a green, uh, kind of a building tool to help line up the hub. And so I'll show you, I'm going to turn that off here once I get the next hub built uh, and I'm about ready to do that right now so let me hop up here I should have enough parts for everything now when you're putting this hub in uh, you can see which direction on uh, there's like a couple of little arrows 
and so you want to make sure that your arrows are facing in the right direction. Now in order for these pipelines to hook up you have to be within this green uh, cylinder. So let's plop this down and that's also going to show the direction for the next hub and so um, we're gonna we'll, we'll end up turning it off here but let's build this low. and there the pipeline connected up not perfectly on center but in order to start getting things turned that's what we're gonna have to do so well as you can see now that uh, we've got that connected it's showing the next direction that we need to go. So in order to continually turn this, I'm probably going to have to build somewhere because uh, I've got to go that direction. So if I build another hub say right about here and slowly start turning that I'm hoping that that's going to allow me to continue to make that turn without being too wonky looking so uh, we've got that in uh, I'm going to continue to, to build this hub out and uh, let me put the next one in and we'll see how that's going to work out so I'll catch back up with you here in just a little bit All right, uh, well, I have been kind of working away here. Uh, I did run into a bit of, little bit of a complication. We got some weather that just rolled in, and it's uh, somewhat uh, nasty outside. Now, this is capable of being pressurized. So I think what I need to do, I was building, getting the pipeline built as I was heading over. You can see where the respawn pod is, and that's heading towards where I want to make the base. So what I want to do is, I guess, make sure that this is airtight when I go in and out. Otherwise, I'm going to be burning through what ice I have. And, uh, yeah. So... I am, let's see, so what I want to do, let's do this, uh, door, uh, what do we have for doors, A sliding door, I think that's what I want to use. It's going to make it kind of tight here. That's okay. Let's uh, let's drop that in right here. That takes steel plates. Let's uh, make it red. <coughs> or how's yellow look? Yellow probably is a little bit better. Alright. And I think... That's the direction we want it, is right there. It's going to look a little odd. <coughs> let's hopefully, let's see if we've got parts. We do. Okay. So now, with this being pressurized, and we've got high oxygen, uh, if I am going outside, I probably need to grab my oxygen uh, bottle. And let's put it right there. Uh... All right, so we've got that. We can go out here. So it, oxygen is low and we're in a damned inferno. All right. 
And that's where we've got, if we go back here, we've got that marked here. Where do I want to put the next one in? Probably right about here. Let me, I guess, let me pull this forward. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Let's pull this forward. Okay, unpark it. Get it up here towards the Reese pod. Pod. over it. Okay. Park this right here. About. And let's see how we look. That's why we needed ice, because we need to keep this air vent going and uh, we need to keep oxygen in here. Alright, so we've got this parked. Okay, now let's go out here and take a look. Uh, oh, I can barely see it back there. I just saw it flickering. Kind of thinking that if we build the next one, that's the base there. it. Well, I can see the green outline there. I guess we should be good to be able to build it right about here. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to get... Oh, you know what? I need to change this color back. I think it was that there. No. Where was it? I think it was that. I hope it was that. And let's put that right there, there. Putting five across. And then one here and here. There. And there. I think the weather's starting to let up a little bit. Those damn explorers didn't say anything about storms. There. And there. Alright. Half block. Right 
there. And let's see if I remember to grab the materials that I needed. And there. Alright, six. And those arrows are facing the right direction. Let's put that right there. Get that out. And the pipeline is connected. That's a little far, but it'll have to do. It'll work. Let's get these built out. Hopefully I got enough steel on me. Yeah, one of the problems I'm going to probably... Well, hopefully I can get enough... I got enough cobalt to finish finish getting this built over to where I want to put the base in. And then we can kind of take it from there. Alright. Alright. Oh, one more. There we go. So, it's just now just hot. Oxygen is still low. Okay, well I think we're going to call it good right here. Uh, we have managed to get the resource node in. We've got the pipeline built out to here. Uh, and that's working pretty good, as demonstrated when I uh, managed to have to rebuild the one, and all of the iron fell out. Uh, we've only got another, looks like approximately mile and three quarters, or mile and, or kilometer, a mile and three quarters click. A kilometer and three quarters, there, how's that? That's better. And uh, getting that back over to where the base is. Now I'm probably going to stop about a mile away uh, from there and maybe put some sort of just temporary structure in for storage coming in. That way I can kind of build the base the way I want it so that I can have the pipelines connecting in. Alright, well as the weather's getting warmer uh, the auction is, looks like it's uh, picked back up, and uh, let's see, let's pull off the, the hood. The auction is still low, but we're good. It's all back up to 100%. And we'll put that down. Alright. Okay, well, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. This was day three, and we managed to get some stuff done. Uh... So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting these pipelines set up and having the resources come in to me, especially on the iron. Now, one of the things on this planet is the resources are scattered considerably far apart. So some of these pipelines could end up being quite a ways away. Uh, anyway, all right, well... I think, uh, again, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. And uh, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video a lot. And uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe. That really helps the channel out a lot. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. Keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.